I'm Mark Stewart. I am a musician, a performer, and an instrument designer. And you're in my house in Park Slope, Brooklyn. I am entranced and intrigued by sound and sound makers, whether it's um, a uh, found object or whether it's a created musical instrument. Um, and so I've uh, surrounded myself uh, with sound makers and the materials to make them. These are all destined to be harps, but they're also destined to be ears on the side of these big musical faces that um, I've made, uh, uh, I've been making um, for a wonderful work conceived by the um, brilliant composer uh, Paolo Prestini, uh, the aging magician. And uh, like any workshop that's been used over time, uh, the, the accumulation has to do with all the different projects and then the hope that, that, that springs eternal inside the craftsman's heart that, that future projects <laughs> will, I want to use these 10 ears. I want, to, I want these all to be these crazy microtonal harps um, that anyone can play. And I know that they will be. This has been dubbed the Lab Annex, uh, this room, the Lab Annex. Uh, the Lab was my old uh, three-bedroom uh, apartment on the Lower East Side. It was this times five. It was absolutely packed and there were some times where all there was was a path. It looked a little bit like those pictures you see of uh, hoarders places, except everything in the place was a musical instrument. Uh, so a lot of things aren't here, obviously. But the things that are here, uh, are here, and I'll give you a little tour. Here's some conch trumpets, some old tuba mouthpieces that get thrown onto this beast over here. It's very lightweight, but it uh, plays in the tuba range, and it's from the end of the 19th century. This is, a, I guess you could say it's the pocket didgeridoo. All manner of bamboo zafoons, uh, the wonderful instruments from Maui, made by Brian Whitman. Beautiful old parlor guitar, and there's my idea for for how to bring it back to life. These are wonderful wooden nose flutes. This is a uh, plectrum guitar. Martin made six or seven of these. It was an experiment and it didn't work out. It was in the early 30s. And the plectrum guitar was an instrument that came and went. They thought maybe it was gonna be the next big thing and it wasn't. So, but um, uh, it's a big thing here. <laughs> in this room. The best music stores are always ones that have been there forever and just have a room full of junk, you know, a room full of cast-offs, things that... I'm, I, this room is a little bit like the, you know, uh, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the island of misfit toys. There is a little bit of element of the misfits, you know, in this room, certainly. <laughs> When I'm on a, uh, an airplane and I'm carrying a musical instrument, I'm often asked, oh, are you a musician? And I say, yes, I am. And they say, well, what kind of music do you play? And I say, well, I play a little bit of popular music, quite a bit of semi-popular music, and an enormous amount of unpopular music. And then their question is usually, well, what's unpopular music? And I say, well, all the music you haven't heard of. And then we have this wonderful uh, conversation about contemporary music and improvised music and um, and uh, uh, the music uh, that I encourage people to play with the instruments I make, and, and then gradually we get to the semi-popular and the popular. Uh, the popular music uh, fellow I play with uh, most frequently is Paul Simon, and I am now considered uh, the MD, the music director for, for Paul, which just means when he's not in the room, um, I'm the only beta in a band full of alphas, and so they'll all listen to me, and so we get stuff done. With Paul, I play anything he asks me to, essentially. I play guitar and cello and mandolin and banjo, and. Uh, and Zafun. So that's the little pocket sax. That's my constant companion. So that gets played. That beautiful moment in the boxer. The semi-popular uh, music I uh, I play is largely with the group Bang on a Can, and Bang on a Can is a 
is an uh, organization that began in 1987, and it's a commissioning organization and a presenting organization, and there's also a house band, uh, Bang & McCann All-Stars. When people ask me, what, what's, your, what's your favorite music? What's your favorite piece? What's your favorite instrument? What's your uh, favorite kind of thing to do in, in your profession? I, I can't answer that. The, for me, it's the variety that is, that is my favorite. Thank you.